Okay, so today we're going to learn about third order motions or oh, three dimensional shapes. What I'm going to give you is a training exercise that will help you with being able to plane change, and this one is working with anti spin. Um, so we're doing a four pedal anti spin flower in three dimensions. Okay? So what it looks like with one hand is this. Swinging in pendulum, and we're going to go from the back, we go down, out, front, up, out, back, down. Okay? Down, out, front, up, out, back, down. So, if I do that with both hands, it's going to look something like this. Okay? Uh, if you ever want to work in changing your planes, freeing up your motion, and being able to go from wall plane to wheel plane in one moment, I suggest this is as a very useful training exercise to help you build those points where you can change. So, where are those points? Well, if we imagine that there is an octahedron surrounding us. Now, an octahedron is an eight-sided object, eight-sided diamond that has six points. There are two here, two here, and two here. Okay? What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a quarter of an anti spin, a four petal anti spin flower um, from each point. But we're changing plane each time we do it. So let's break it down, breaking it down. The first step we're going to start in wheel plane pendulum. Full arm extension wheel plane pendulum. And from there, when we reach this nice horizontal stall point, what we're going to do is we're going to flick the poi over the top. So the poi should come over and down. If you think to yourself, right, I'm swinging my poi and I want to put it into my pocket, it's going straight in here. Okay? So we're going to go swing, swing, and down. And make sure you fully extend your arm. So, the next move is from down here. What we're going to be doing is your arm is going to be fully extended at that end point after the first step. Then from here, we're going to be taking it out to the side. So I want to have my arm again fully extended. And what, I would, what I'm aiming to have is the poi also fully extended. So the end point where you should, the point where you should end is exactly the same as a wall plane pendulum. Okay? So I should end there. But I'm going from down here in my pocket. So basically I'm going to grab a piece of uh, the poi from out of my pocket and I'm going to throw it over the top of my hand, over the top of my hand, and out to the side. <laughs> This is going to be a weird motion at first. It's going to be something you're probably not used to, but it will take, with a bit of practice, you should be fine. Third step. Now, the third step is using this, we're going to learn this using this horizontal, uh, this wall plane pendulum that I was just talking about. What we're going to do is, when you hit this horizontal stall point on this side, on this right hand side, is you're going to do an anti-spin over the top of your arm. And you should end up in wheel plane pendulum. Okay? So we're just going to practice that. We go from wall plane pendulum, anti-spin, to wheel plane pendulum. Now you'll know if you're doing anti-spin because if you do in-spin, it will, you'll, you should end up here. Okay? You'll end up with the, the poi in the center. Now, if you do anti-spin, it should just neatly do a quick quarter cycle from out here, around to the front, down into wheel plane pendulum. Good. Alright. 
Number four. Number four. We're in this wheel, wheel plane pendulum. What we're going to be doing, instead of continuing on like we would maybe into a horizontal four beat anti spin, we're going to move into the uh, four pedal wheel plane, uh, forwards anti spin. So at this frontal horizontal store point, we're going up. Okay? Up. Now, you can do it outside or inside the arm. I suggest inside the arm. Okay? Now, the point of this is really the, the tricky part is trying to get that nice point up top. You want it to be directly above your head and you want it to be a really nice point. So we're going to go up and back. Okay, just practice doing that nice little quarter circle swing, up and back and up and back, and that should help you. Number five. Number five. Number five is from the top point. So, if I, again, I would get into number five by having done number four. So we're going to start in this wheel plane, up to the top point. And then once you hit that top point, you're going to take your hand up to the top point, and then I want you to drop your hand down to the side. Okay? So you go up to the top point, drop your hand down. Okay? Number six is the last little bit. So we're now out on the side, back into our wall plane pendulum. Wall plane pendulum. And again, out on the right side, because I'm using my right hand. What I'm going to do is that now I'm going to do an anti-spin again, but this time to the back. Okay? So I'm going to do it to the back. Okay? So my anti-spin is going to swing from here towards the front but move towards the back, okay? All right, so that gives you your six, uh, your six points. The last really mean, mean, mean little bit of this process is getting from the back, back down. Now this is actually, I would say probably, possibly the hardest bit because while we've learned that, that was step one. We learned that with the horizontal, the wheel plane, the wheel plane pendulum, and we're going to go over and down into our pocket. Same move, but once you've gone all the way through it, it's a bit of a bitch. So don't get too stressed about that. If you can only do one cycle, that's good. Do one cycle, spin, do another cycle, spin, break it down. Okay. My suggestion with learning this is to learn is to learn each step on its own. And then combine them. The first two. So one and two, we're gonna go down and out the side. Down and out. Now I'm in wall plane pigeon. Okay? I can relax. And then two and uh, three and four. We're gonna go to the front and up. To the front and up. Oh. And now I'm in wheel plane pigeon. Okay? This time I'm going to do four again, right? So four and five. Okay. Four and five. Whoa. Now I'm in wall, uh, wall, wall plane pendulum. Okay. This time I'm going to do five and six. Five and six. Okay. So just going to go there again. One. Two, three, four, five, six. So, don't forget your left hand. Very important. Remember, as always, try to practice everything with both hands and preferably in both directions. You can do this in the reverse direction. It's complicated, but it's doable. Um, if you get it, let me know. <laughs> so, of course, left hand, we're going to go down, out, front, up, out, back, 
down, okay? Again, break it down like you did with the first one and just practice, practice, practice. Now, if I want to use both, there are a couple of little quick tips that I would give you. Always remember that it doesn't matter if you're in three dimensions or two, because you're doing a four pedal anti-spin pattern, the poi should always be at opposing ends. So long as you're remaining, your, keeping your same time poi configuration, which most of the time you will. Okay, so, same time, opposite ends, exactly the same. This time, get into it from, again, the wheel plane pendulum. Wheel plane pendulum, one is gonna go up and the other is going to go down. Up, down. Okay, so let's just see that from the side. Up, down. Okay, or up, down. Whichever you prefer, whichever you're more comfortable with is what I suggest when starting this. Learn both later on, because then you can, when you learn both, and you also learn, to, you can begin to learn to enter this pattern from any of the six points. Okay, so. The last little tip I've got is actually something from a, it's a geometric tip. So, if I think, I mentioned before we had an octahedron, so an eight-sided eight -sided diamond. Now, if you imagine that the diamond is, the middle of the diamond is my points here. So I've got the two points here, the two points here, and I've got the two points up. Each face of the diamond is going to be a triangle. Okay. To make these anti-spin, to make these anti-spin motions, you want to move your hands in the lines of the triangle. Um, it should, so long as you keep the right rotation, it should spin. Okay. So if I go from behind me, and you go behind and down. So I'm going from this back point down to my bottom point with my hand. Now out to the front, out to the front, up, down, back, down, out, front, up, down, back, down. Okay? Always whenever doing any sort of plane changes, anti-spin, whether you're doing same time or split time poise, same time or split time arms, you need to remember that you're trying to move in these triangles with your art. It will help you a lot. So, hopefully we'll have you spinning freely in three dimensions and with complete range of movement in no time. I hope that helped and um, please, on this side we've got some really exciting news. We've uh, managed to put together a brand new Poi Dojo website. So have a look at that, uh, check it out. There's loads there, loads more there than there was before and uh, a lot more to come.